Jelly sandwiches for dinner. I won't. Promise. Bye. Oh, I wonder what's in here. Ah! Oh, oh, I wonder what that scary noise was. <laughs> Wow, it's amazing. Oh no, it's that scary noise again. Hello, what are you doing in my cave? Hello, I'm the boy from far away and I'm just having a look around. What are you? I'm a bear. Why were you doing that big roar noise? It scared me a little bit. That wasn't a roar. It was my tummy rumbling. <laughs> oh, yes. Why is your tummy making those noises? I've been asleep all winter, and I've woken up very hungry. Don't you have any food to eat? There doesn't seem to be any food around here. Hmm, what could we do? Boy! Hurry up! Dinner time! Whew, I've got an idea. I hope you like jelly sandwiches. I hope so too. Mum, I've got a friend coming for dinner. Oh my goodness, that's a big friend you've got. I'd better get some more jelly. And don't you get hair all over the furniture. 100 mile an hour tails. The three little pigs. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. Their parents decided that it was time for them to leave home and make their own way in the world. But it wasn't safe in the big bad world as a big bad wolf lived nearby and he liked nothing more than to eat little pigs. The three pigs decided to each build a house to keep them safe from the wolf. The first little pig wasn't very bright. He built his house of straw. Along came the wolf and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And he did. Quite easily. The first little pig ran quickly to his brother's house, who, being slightly more intelligent, had built his house from sticks. The big bad wolf arrived with a bit more huffing and puffing and blew the stick house to bits. The two little pigs ran to the third pig's house. This one was quite clever and had built his house from bricks. He huffed and puffed and puffed and huffed, but no matter how hard he blew, he couldn't budge the brick house one bit. By now the wolf was getting a bit peckish, so he decided to climb down the chimney and eat the three little pigs for lunch. The pigs had other plans and they placed a big pot of boiling water in the fireplace. What happened next is a bit of a mystery. Some say that the three little pigs cooked up the wolf and ate him for dinner. Others that the scalded wolf ran off never to be seen again. I have my own ideas. Oops. <laughs> 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 
Unfortunately, things didn't turn out quite so well for the four remaining penguins and the unicyclist. Well, it's that time of the evening again, folks. Let's check out what our intrepid reporter Ray is up to this week. What's the word, Ray? Hello, Cat. As you can see, I'm doing something very daring in the name of news gathering. Doing something really stupid, more like. Sorry? What did you say? I said you're very brave, Ray. Anyway, where are you and what are you up to today? I'm here in the Andes mountain range, looking for one of the rarest breeds of giant condor. Hey, that's a pretty big bird, Ray. You think you can handle it? Whatever you do, don't look down. Ah! Oh, at last! This is what we've been searching for, the giant condor's nest. And as you can see, there is a huge egg in there. Uh, I don't know much about giant condors, Ray, but aren't most birds extremely protective about their eggs? Nothing to worry about, Cat. I just want to be the first reporter to actually touch one of these rare and beautiful eggs on camera. Get off my hair! Let me go! Let me go! Ah! <sighs> More from Ray next week, if we ever find him. What an exceptional reporter he was. The uh, is. Thank <laughs> you. 